Hi everybody, I'm Andy DeVigani. Today I'm going to show you three easy ways to make DIY backdrops so you can step up your food photography game. Alright, when it comes to food photography, I have two general tips for backdrops. The first one, size doesn't matter. You can make the world as small as you need it. For example, I have this small marble plate, but if you also use a small bowl and shoot it from top down, that's all you need. Most of my DIY backdrops are 40 by 60 centimeters for two reasons. First, this is generally a good size for plates and bowls. And second, 3 by 2 is also the image ratio, so I can align my camera perfectly with the backdrop. And the second general tip for backdrops is structure is king. When I first started with food photography, I used a rather plain white or black background, but soon I realized that it's much more visually appealing if there's a certain pattern or structure in the backdrop. Always keep in mind that the pattern or structure should not distract from the main subject. So I started to make my own backdrops with patterns and structures that suit my style of photography. Yours might be a little different, but here I give you a few examples of how to make DIY backdrops in three different ways. So let's go. All right, the first backdrop will be very similar to this board. This board has a very beautiful structure and I think it looks like a very old table. It's one of my favorite backdrops. But now I want to make a new version in a dark blue color. For that, I have these 240 centimeter by 10 centimeter wooden planks that I will cut into 60 centimeter pieces and then nail them onto smaller pieces of around 35 centimeter. And later on, I will paint them with black and blue color. The trick with the color is to always use just a little bit of color per stroke in order to give it that used look. So let's go. For the second DIY backdrop, I will use this tablecloth, which is about 120 centimeter by 40 centimeter. I cut it into 60 centimeter by 40 centimeter pieces and nail it onto this one centimeter thick wooden board that I will cut into 60 by 40 centimeter pieces as well. And finally paint it with some green and brown to create some earthy tones and make it look like a forest. So let's go. Yes, before I start wondering, I did change the color of this one after I shot the video. Why? Because I didn't like how it turned out. They had too much highlights and the color composition wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So I painted it with multiple layers of green and together with the tablecloth, it creates a very nice texture and has a plain and simple color. And that just suits my style of photography much more. And that happens when you customize or make your own backdrops. You might have to adjust them after you see them through the lens because the lens always sees it different than your eyes. So let's continue with the next backdrop. And the third backdrop is supposed to look a little bit like this one, but this time I want to create a much more metallic look. So in order to do that, 
I have this plywood board, which is 120 centimeter by 60 centimeters, and I will cut it into 60 centimeter by 40 centimeter pieces. And finally use an array of spray paint to create that metallic look. So let's go. Alright, well later the color is dried and I tested all of the backdrops in different lighting environments and with different kinds of foods and I like them very much. Especially this metallic looking one with the dark brown spots, it just mm, feels so good with the texture. But you know, the possibilities are endless and just do what feels right to you and what suits your style of photography. So, I hope this video helps you and if it does, leave me a thumbs up. If you have further questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.